This video is a demonstration of data transformations. You'll recall that we identified two problems with the movie sales data that we just loaded. We need to filter out the months outside Q2. We need to correct the values for the days of the week. Let's go straight to the data transforms tool to correct these now. We already have a project called Movie Stream within which we'll create a new data flow. To fix the data as required for our analysis of Q2 FY 2020. I drag table movie sales 2020 onto the canvas. The first thing is to filter out the months outside Q2. So I drag the filter tool from the palette and connect this to the table. We'll call this filter Q2 only and specify its properties. I drag column month onto the expression editor and say that I'm only interested in the months of April, May, and June. Next, we'll fix the values for column day. For this, we'll use the data cleanse tool, which I connect up as before. For column day, the properties I want are to strip off any leading and trailing white space and convert the values to title case. Let's give this a decent name, fix all cap days. Okay, now we're going to create a new table for the results of these operations. Let's call this movie sales 2020 Q2. Get rid of the columns I don't want. And press save. Now let's take a look at the properties of this new table. We need to ensure that a new table will be created rather than loading data into an existing one. OK, let's save. and run this job. Here we see confirmation that the data transform operation has begun. This concludes the data preparation phase of this demonstration. So here we've used the data transforms tool to fix some data quality problems we identified during data load. To do this, we created a data flow which filtered out unwanted months and standardize the case of column day.